all along for that great day, the next sudden we're going to have our national anthem. We want everyone to stand and be attention. Deborah Avins Peak will hear our national anthem. Deborah Abbott's Pete. Deborah, thank you for a good job. You've done a good job, and now we'll have an invocation by the pastor of the First Baptist Church, Keith Hatchley. And I'm sorry that I overlooked you. I remember Keith back in my radio days. He was a basketball coach. And I know Keith, my mother, really thanks a lot of you, too. This time, Brother Ashley, the invocation from First Baptist Church. All right. Well, it's exciting to be here today. Well, we got a beautiful day, sun shining and a, a nice little breeze. Uh, if you're on a balloonist team, we want to uh, invite you over to Five First Baptist. We're feeding the balloonist and also city officials. Uh, we've got a meal we're putting together for you. And uh, so we're, we're thankful to be a part of this and everyone who's orchestrated this. What a great event. And I'm, I'm thankful for my brothers who have already come up and, and asked God's blessing upon this event. But uh, we want to go to him one more time and ask for uh, safety over the balloonist and, uh, and pray that they're, uh, they have a good day as well. So let's go to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we are in awe of how much you love us, how much you've done for us to reveal yourself to us. Thank you, God, for your word. It tells us who you are and how much you love us. God, we pray your blessings over this day today. Lord, there'll be many that come in and out of these gates Lord, I just pray that they sense a spirit of brotherhood, uh, a spirit of, of friendliness and cooperation uh, that, that will just uh, go from heart to heart in this town. Uh, and it's only possible because of Jesus Christ and his example and laying down his life for his friends. So, God, I, I pray that that spirit of cooperation would, would just flow from each person. God, we thank you so much for our city officials, uh, for, for volunteer firemen, for police uh, who uh, patrol and keep us safe. God, we 
We pray your blessings upon them as they work hard to fulfill their duties and roles and responsibilities. And God, just pray that you give them wisdom to lead the city in a, in a right direction. Uh, and God, we pray your protection over the balloonists as they come in today. And Lord, if there be any that uh, have have had an accident, I, God, I don't know, but I'll just, I pray, Lord, your, your peace and protection over them. Keep them safe and preserve life, God, and we'll be quick to give you the praise. Thank you, Lord, for all that will be said today in your name. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you, Brother Keep, for that invocation. This time, I want to welcome a, a good friend. He's more than a mayor. He's the mayor-elect. At this abs in absence of Mayor Katie Woodall, I'd like to welcome Paul Cagle to the Five Field Foe. Let him have a few words. Thank you, CJ. You do a great service to the town of Fife. You always have. And uh, I've got a number of people to show appreciation for. Uh, I want to thank everyone that's come out so far this morning. We've got the day started off, as Brother Keith said, and, and uh, I want to thank Brother Tony, Brother Paul, and Brother Keith, as well as Deborah, for her contribution to this day's events. Uh, without the Lord's blessing, it, uh, it would not be a successful event, and we do hope and pray that it will be a successful event. Uh, I want to thank uh, our local officials. I want to thank uh, each member of our town council uh, and uh, our, our local legislators. Uh, Jimmy Harris, our sheriff, has done a great job helping us out. He always does with uh, those that he's responsible for and Ronnie Brooks has helped us out a lot. Uh, not only in this event but uh, many others. Uh, on our town council five, we've got Gerald Green as a, rep as a uh, councilman, James Spears, Dale Wooten, and Fred Works. And our mayor presently is Katie Woodall. Uh, after the election, uh, these same members will be serving the town of Fife, as well as me. I will be serving as the mayor of Fife uh, starting in November. So if I can be of service to you in any way, feel free to contact the town hall and, le and to let us know. I want to thank our state representatives, uh, Legislator Nathaniel Ledbetter and our state senator, Steve Livingston. Uh, they possibly will be here a little bit later in the day, and I want to thank them, as well as our federal legislators, our representative Robert Ederholt, our state, our federal senators, national senators Jeff Sessions and, and uh, Richard Shelby for the assistance that uh, they have given to us. And uh, one thing about this day, without our vendors this day, uh, would not be near as successful. I want to thank each and every one of our vendors for coming out and for participating in this. And I hope that uh, if they know others, uh, vendors that would like to participate with us, that they will invite them to come and uh, so that we will be able to have, uh, to have more here. I want to thank our police department as well as our fire department members. I want to thank our town clerk, Brandy Clayton, for all that she has done, she is doing today, and that she's going to continue to do throughout the day. It'll be a long day for her. Um, our, one of our town employees, Sid Valencia, has made a strong effort to make this day successful. I want to thank all the participants that are involved in the tractor show and all those that are in the car show. Uh, without these interests and in, uh, these coming out to uh, show some interest in our town and in our events, it, it would not take place. We're going to have a great day. We've got a lot of good entertainment that's going to be coming around. I hope that the wind will pick up a little bit and give us a good cool breeze. Uh, today, our, our performance will be emceed by Charles Jolly, more commonly known as CJ. Uh, if you've been listening to any of our local radio stations over the years, especially WFPA lately, you've heard his voice, and uh, I want to thank him, and he has uh, given us some good advertisement as well as WFPA has, and I want to thank them for that. Uh, also, later in the day, as 
the events take place, we're going to have a, a race that will be taking place. So if you've all got any energy left and want to participate in a 5K run, then, uh, then uh, you can participate in that. Right now, I'm going to turn it back over to CJ and let him uh, lead us through the day and through the day's events. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Mayor-elect Kago. I appreciate those fine, kind words. I'm CJ DJ. I've been in radio about all my life. I have to do a lot of it in a golf cart now. I just don't have much balance, but, uh, you know, Mayor Cagle has carried me to a lot of doctors. I want to take this time from the City of Fife to welcome everybody to today's festivities. I hope you have a good time. And if you have any problems, you need them, you can let Brandy know. They'll try to help you. They always are. The morning. And our first one, I want to make welcome uh, Deborah Evans Peak will be our first entertainer, be followed by Dennis George and the boys, and of course the Sharps Quartet. So make welcome to the stage, Deborah Evans Peak. Yeah. 
Hard to Jonah go to Nineveh, preaching a foreign land. Jonah didn't go and Jonah didn't preach. Oh, what a foolish man. Well, he jumped in the boat and they threw him in the sea. Great fish swallowed Jonah on my own me. After three days in the belly of hell, he said, I ain't gonna run no more. You'll find knowing you're his and he's 